In order to reduce the reluctance of magnetic circuit in disk permanent magnet synchronous motor, high permeability silicon steel sheet is used to laminate the core. The existence of the core leads to problems such as large volume, heavy weight, large loss and large vibration noise. If the core is made of ND February permanent magnet with high coercivity instead of silicon steel sheet, the weight of the motor can be greatly reduced and the vibration noise can also be reduced. Low vibration and noise, at the same time, the efficiency can be improved. The coreless structure of the motor will lead to the increase of the reluctance of the magnetic circuit. If the common permanent magnet structure is adopted, the air gap magnetic density will be relatively low. As a permanent magnet motor, the selection of permanent magnet materials and the structure of permanent magnet are two aspects to improve the air gap flux density. Considering the cost performance ratio of permanent magnet materials, the choice of permanent magnet materials is limited. Different from this, the air gap magnetic density can be increased by choosing different permanent magnet structures and arrangements. The method is flexible and has many kinds. Halbach array for particle accelerator is a permanent magnet array with magnetic gathering function. It is an effective measure to improve the magnetic load and force energy density of permanent magnet motor. At the same time, it also weakens the magnetic flux density of the magnetic circuit S choke. Because slotless disc motors have larger gap, more permanent magnet materials and less winding inductance may lead to some negative feedback motor faults and significant eddy current losses in winding conductors. A comparative study has been performed to determine the most appropriate configuration of Halbach permanent magnet poles for coreless rotors in this video. Considering the actual constraints of the wind turbine, the prototype of the design generator tested by 3D finite element analysis. We now add Halbach array magnets to the general axis flux permanent magnet generator and simulate analyze it in the ANSYS Maxwell software. We add for rectangular auxiliary magnets to the 3D diagram. This step is to set the magnetic direction of N-pole and S-pole magnets. This step is used to set the magnetic direction of for rectangular auxiliary magnets.
copy the rectangular auxiliary magnet, the generator needs 30 to auxiliary magnets in total. After completion, the magnetic pole direction of each auxiliary magnet is also set. This step is to set the mesh cutting of each auxiliary magnet. This step is to set the speed of the generator. After all the settings are completed, the analysis can be started. After the simulation analysis starts, the magnetic field visualization of the generator can be observed. The comparative analysis results of magnetic fields of Halbach arrays with different arrangements are shown in the figure. 
it is more reasonable to use uniform arrays for motor. While further improving the magnetic field between the rotor discs, it also simplifies the production and assembly process of permanent magnets. The figures show the comparison of magnetic field distribution between non-uniform and uniform magnetic pole arrays. Now let's compare the air gap flux density of the two magnet arrangement methods. The peak value of air gap flux density of axial flux Halbach permanent magnet generator is about 0.6 Tesla. The peak value of air gap flux density of axial flux permanent magnet generator is about 0.5 Tesla. It can be seen that the air gap flux density of axial flux Halbach permanent magnet generator is larger and stronger. Now put the three-phase stator coil winding with the same wiring method and the same coil turns into the air gap of the axial permanent magnet generator rotor. Turning the rotor of the generator, the magnetic force of the axial magnetic flux will cut the coil winding in the air gap, and the generator will generate energy output. We can see that both generators have corresponding output power. It can be seen that the generator which using Halbach array magnets has higher output power and efficiency. But in fact, Halbach array magnets are very difficult to make and expensive. This video is just a suggestion for your reference. The above is a brief introduction to the application of Halbach array magnets in axial flux permanent magnet generators. If you like this movie and hope to find it again later, please press this button. This action will make it easier for you to find this movie later. This channel will update new videos one after another. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to this channel and open the prompt bell. Thank you.